ready whenever I am. I guess I'm ready now. Okay, I, think I think I hit record. Yeah, you did. Okay. I did hit record. Okay. See, I'm intelligent with um, <laughs> technology. Hello. This is these are my my homies. Um, there's a camera in my face. <laughs> uh, I'm coming in through here. Oh, How's it going? I'm doing I'm doing the selfie thing. You got yourself right frame and How's everything. How's it going? What's up? Hi. Look, so everybody gets a view of what I'm seeing. Just okay. oh. Well, you look fantastic. You look smashing, but you're not wearing that. your Misfits clothing today. Um, that's when you're incorrect. Really? Because I am Look at him. Just it. when you think you have him figured out, he changes it up <laughs> on you. So explain to me what Misfits is. Misfits. Misfits is a brand that I I have with my best friend Jaden and my brother Mateo. It's a brand of expressing yourself, being a rebel, a skater, whatever you want to call it. And it's it's really us um, experimenting with with clothing and experimenting with design and. And, and whatever we, we really wanted to create, and, and not only clothing, but a, a movement. And you're also young to be doing this and putting your, you know, finger in a lot of different pots and having so many. What's what's the favorite right now? What inspires you the most? Uh, I mean, th there's not a favorite. You you get inspiration from everything. You know, uh, clothing is something I've always been into, um, and not a lot of stuff fits me, so I make it myself. So the kings of summer. Yes. First of all, NBC just came out with ten must-see films to watch this summer, and you're in two of them. That's fantastic. That one and Despicable Me too. I am, yes. These are good odds that you're playing here. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I have a, a rated R feature, a PG feature, and a PG-13 feature coming this year. Which is the most fun to do. Uh, which <laughs> the is the R -rated most ones. fun, that's funny. They're all completely different. I mean, the PG is, is voice. Um, it's all voiceover. Um, Despicable Me, the first one, is a fantastic film. The Kings of Summer is probably one of my craziest, uh, most different characters I've ever played, and I'm happy that uh, people aren't seeing it as a, as a gimmick, that it's a character that is out there and oddball, weird as, as can be, honestly. Um, my name is Jamal Colorado, and I have kidnapped your son. Anne Fernie, Texas? Deshaun, Utah. Yeah, I decided on the format of Denzel Washington, a black first name followed by a state. Good effort, <laughs> although savagely racist. But you've gotten so much press off this role. I know Sundance people went crazy for the film. People particularly went crazy for your performance. Called you a young Dustin Hoffman, which I know you tweeted that about. Was, and was, you yes. like that comparison? Absolutely. Yeah. How could you not like that? And people talk about a little bit about Zach Elfinakis, that type of humor compared you to him as well. Mm -hmm. I've always, you know, been a fan of, of his and Zach Galifianakis. Who has been in Young Hollywood? He's right there. He's the man. Um, I think they compare me to him because of my beard. Yeah, I, th I thought that's I what it was I think that's the only too. reason. Uh, no, it, it's, it's been a blessing, honestly. You know, I've been working since I was 10, and now finally, uh, after all the things that I've done in the past, it was all, I think, an evolution and, and, and practice. And um, you know, you learn improvisation, you learn timing, you learn all of that for an uh, opportunity like, like Biagio from, from the Kings of Summer. And I know you did some sword fighting in this? Or there like there were some sword words. What did I see? It was like a, a watermelon a being watermelon. thrown up in the air and you I sliced it in sword. half? I want to say sword. It was a machete. Now, was that you? It was Do me. you have skills? Do you have sword skills? I mean, I don't, but I sliced the watermelon in half. You So you really did it? I did. How many takes was that? How many watermelons was, were involved that in that? That was one. Really? Yeah, it was you, You're known for the deer in the headlights stare in this film. Correct. Give me a tip. Give you a tip. Yeah, how um, do you just, do it? Just embody a deer, I don't know. It just, <laughs> it comes naturally, let's see. Okay, so, ooh. Okay, so we have a game for you. Mm, okay. Because the film is based on, you know, you and two guys out in the woods all summer. If you were gonna spend the summer in the woods, okay, so we're gonna call it what would you bring, all right? TV or iPod? iPod. Really? Yeah. Not a big TV person? At all. Unlimited hot water for a shower or a fridge? I don't need hot water. A fridge. Wow. Yeah. Cold shower kind of guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I need to. I know you're a skateboarder. Mm hmm You can bring your skateboard, but obviously you're not going to be skateboarding. Yeah. What would you use it for? I'd probably give it razor tail and, I mean, depends if I have food. Just use it as a weapon. You can only bring two, one of two things, a toothbrush or a sleeping bag. I mean, am, am I 
Am I coming back to civilization? I don't know, Ashley Green might show up in the woods. You never know. Oh, yeah, that's... I heard you I have mean, a little I, crush on her. I'm just a little bit. She's very beautiful. Um, let's go with the toothbrush. <laughs> let's do the same. Yeah. Okay, and one movie. You can bring one movie to play over and over. Well, I go to sleep every night to the score of Alice in Wonderland. Now, how did that come about? And me and my friends just saw Alice in Wonderland once and kept on falling asleep and trying to finish in falling asleep, falling asleep, and I guess we just played it over and over. The score just, I guess, serenades you and it's kind of like a lullaby. Okay, and I know this fall you've got Ender's Game coming out. I do. Amazing cast, mm -hmm. Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. Sir Ben Kingsley, who was just sitting where you're sitting. That's fantastic. We're just bragging a little bit right wow. now. So, what can we expect? The, expect the douchiest character. There's not one ounce of nice in, in Bone Zone, in my character. Wow. You get to have a lot of fun in your job, don't you? I do, I do. Uh, apart from, from the role, just working with those people and, and, and the, the kids, you know, Haley, Asa, Abigail, Kylan, Aramis, Serge, everybody from the movie were an inspiration to work with. They were all just incredibly talented and, and professional. I was known to always stay in character because I had to be the mean one and the extras would, were very scared of me for a solid three months. So were you mean to Harrison Ford? Is that what you're telling me? Off set, <laughs> on set, off camera? Quiet, I want to say mean just okay. to myself. You held it back a little bit yeah. for him, right? You, you can't, you can't just say I'm right. That's true. <laughs>